I know y'all can tell I'm not feeling this. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Before we even get into this video, please excuse the sun that's coming through my blinds. I'm still trying to figure out a filming setup. I apologize if it's annoying, it will go down eventually. So, disregard. <laughs> Anyways, hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Shani. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial slash foundation review. And the foundation that I'm going to be trying out in this video is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I'm pretty late to this foundation. And I've never tried out any of Huda Beauty's products ever before. So, this should be a good video and hopefully I end up liking the foundation because y'all know I love a good flawless, seamless base. So yeah, oh and I got the color Ganache 560R. Usually I'm a neutral undertone but when I put this foundation on, this is the one that ended up matching so yeah. Okay so I'm starting out by brushing out my brows. I already have my moisturizer on and everything. I did my you know my skincare routine off camera i do have a video on my skincare routine so if you guys want to watch that i will link it in the cards and i'm doing my brows with the cream gel brow color from benefit and it's called cabal in the color 4.5 so that's what i'm doing my brows with and i'm not really doing too much to my brows but i do like them to have a little you know personality so I'm just going through and doing three flicks up in the front one is going like straight up one is going curved and one is like going into my brow if that makes sense and then I'm just going to define the bottom half of my brow and then disperse the rest of the color through my brow and then I'm gonna bring my arch up a little bit because I don't know, for some reason I like the way it looks. I really hope you guys can see the brows. That's how they're looking. Right now I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color 445 and I'm gonna define my arch with this and prime my eyelids. And I'm using the 242 brush from MAC. And now I'm just going to blank out my eyelid color, set it, and then do the eyelid. And I'm not putting a lot of concealer on my eyelids. It's honestly a very thin layer of concealer. Now I'm just blending it out with this Real Technique Deluxe Concealer Brush. And I'm just patting it out. And I'm just pressing everything in and blending out the edges so that everything is seamless. So the goal is to make sure your eyelid is primed um, and very smooth looking, if that makes sense. You don't want it to look cakey. Well, I never want it to look cakey. I always like the concealer on my eyelid to be as smooth as possible. All right, so once the concealer is blended out, I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to set the concealer down and I'm taking a little bit of the powder to start off. So just a little bit. And you also want to make sure before you set the concealer on your eyelid that you blend out any of the creases that happen in between you picking up your brush to set it. Okay, so make sure all of the lines are blended because you don't want to set 
your eyelids when they're creased because then it's just gonna set creased and it's, it just doesn't look good. So I always make sure to blend out any lines before I set my concealer down. And I also like to do this because it just stretches my eyelid out. And this is another reason why when you get your makeup done, the artist stretches it out like that because it just, it just allows you to set the eye very seamlessly and it stretches out the skin so that, you know, you can set inside of the creases so that the concealer doesn't move. So it's always a good little tip. I'm using the Morphe 3503 palette and this is such a gorgeous palette like look at this I think I'm gonna take the color flame game which is this one right here and use that as my transition okay all right so I'm just gonna use flame game I think that was the name of the color and blend that into my crease. And I'm also gonna bring it up here. And I'm using circular motions to diffuse it out. And I also have my hand towards the end of the brush because it allows you to not put so much pressure on the brush. Now, if you do it this way, you're applying more pressure and it just puts a lot more product down than you need. I don't know the science behind it, but if you want to add more dimension or add more color, put your hand at the front of the brush. If you want to, you know, want it to be more diffused, put your hand at the back of the brush. Now I'm taking the color Incognito, which is, oops, let's not drop the palette, which is this color right here, right here. And I'm using this to deepen up my crease. And you can just see the dimension starting to happen, which I am here for. And then I'm taking the color Hypnotic, which is like a deep maroon color. And I'm using that to deepen my crease as well. I'm also taking that brown color in the palette and deepening my crease as well. Now I'm taking Frenzy, which is this golden, yellow, golden color. And I'm placing that on my eyelid. I'm just gonna press it on. And I'm also using my finger because it just allows it to it's something about using your finger, it just presses the eyeshadow on really nicely. Now I'm taking the glitter primer from NYX and if you have been watching my videos for a minute, we started out with the multitasking mix and medium for MAC which got discontinued. I think there was another one that I came across from NYX and then I ended up finding this. And this has been my all time fave to apply glitter, to apply eyeshadow, especially if you have hooded eyes and um, your eyeshadow transfers. This is a good thing to use when it comes to um, putting on glitter or putting on eyeshadow that you just don't want to transfer. So I'm going to put this on because I am working with glitter and I'm just going to tap it on my eyelid with my finger because I don't want to disturb the eyeshadow that I put on already. Oh, and I put it on the back of my hand and I just pick it up with my ring finger. And we're just gonna place it on top, very gently, so it doesn't disturb the eyeshadow that we already have on. And it's gonna to start to get tacky. So once you do put the glitter eyeshadow on, it will stick, it's gonna grab it. So, I'm taking the same brush and I'm picking up Make a Believer, 
the only glitter eyeshadow that's in this palette this one right here and i'm using the morphe m 152 brush and i'm just going to tap this eyeshadow on my eyelid and i want it to look scattered actually you know i probably should have went in with the fenty beauty trophy wife that would have been stunning. Also taking my finger again. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of eyeliner before I apply my lashes. All right, and now I'm just going to apply my lashes. I'm still not sure of the lashes I got because when I ordered them, I ordered a lot of samples from, I always forget the name of the company, but um, I'll link it down below. But I just don't think these lashes are available anymore. All right, now I'm about to just apply my lashes Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. So let's go ahead and get into the face. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer to prime my face. And I'm just going to do a little bit of color correcting before I put the foundation on. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 445. And I'm just blending it out with a beauty blender. Now what we've all been waiting for, this is the color 550, no, not 550, Ganache 560R. So I'm just gonna put it on the butt of the beauty blender, like a half a pump. And I always usually start right here. I probably use too much, this seems really thick. And I'm pretty red, but we will see. It does seem luminous because there's a shine to my face. So I do see luminous. I probably should have got the one under this, but in the store, it didn't seem this red. So maybe I should have got hot fudge. No, maybe I should have got chocolate truffle 540G. It says rich skin with golden undertone. Yeah, maybe I should have got that one because compared to my arm. Yeah, from what I can see, it doesn't look bad on camera, but in person, my face is definitely darker and definitely more red than my arms and my chest area. So, yeah. Now I'm going to put on my concealer. I'm using the 24 hour concealer from MAC and NC 
50. I know y'all can tell I'm not feeling this. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Maybe the concealer will bring everything together for me. Because right now, I'm not here for it. But I do think it looks really good on my skin though. It's just the color. I'm gonna go in with 410 from Fenty. And let it sit while I cream contour. Okay, so I'm contouring with the Kat Von D Cream Foundation in Deep 098. And now I'm gonna blend out the second layer of concealer. Now I'm just setting my under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Now I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder in the color Coco to set the rest of my face. Now I'm taking the other Too Faced powder in Ganache and setting my contoured areas. Now I'm gonna go back to my eyes real quick. And go in with the transition color and smoke out my bottom lash line. I'm putting on some mascara on my bottom lashes. Just line my lips with the um, Kat Von D cream foundation. And for my lip color, I'm using Glazed from Fenty. And then for highlighter or blush, whatever you want to call this, I'm using Penny For You Thoughts from Fenty. Alright you guys, so my makeup is done. I went in the bathroom and I looked at it and I'm just like, it looks nice, but there's something that I'm not, that's, it's, it's something about the foundation that I'm not liking and I think it's because it's matte and it's full coverage. I thought it was medium coverage, but no, this is full, full coverage, okay? 
So I think that's what's throwing me off in the fact that I haven't had a full coverage foundation in years. So let me pause. My camera is about to die. <laughs> I'll be right back. Like I was saying, it is a full coverage foundation. It's definitely a matte foundation. I don't know why the title says it's a luminous, luminous matte foundation. I just see matte. The only shine that I see is like where I put um, the highlighter and kind of on my chin. Well, maybe, maybe that's why it's luminous. In some areas, I do feel like it's luminous, but in the majority of my face, when I go in the bathroom or go from behind these lights, it's matte. There's no shine when it comes to this foundation. On the website, it's a liquid foundation, of course. Full coverage, of course. It's a matte finish, of course. It says it's fragrance-free, which I agree with. I don't, there's no fragrance when it comes to this foundation. Vegan, and it's cruelty-free, so. Yeah, I mean, the foundation on paper, on the website, it does what it says. But on the bottle, I think um, Luminous could be a little misleading. Okay, so up under what else you need to know on the Sephora website. It also says it's a blendable foundation, which I agree with. It's full coverage formula. It's fragrance-free, transfer-proof, waterproof, fade-proof, and wait, and sweat and humidity roof and offers up to 24 hour wear so i'm not going to be wearing this foundation for 24 hours um i've only had this foundation on for an hour and um i'm not going anywhere maybe i might go to the gym mm, is that eight o'clock i probably i'm probably not going to go to the gym but um but i am going to do some stuff around the house so that i can wear this foundation a little bit more and see what happens so i can like have more of a review for you guys this foundation doesn't flash back i already did a flash test so i will um put my picture right here up on the screen no edits no nothing this is a raw picture from my iphone 12. all right you guys so it is 11 basically 11 30 and I've had this foundation on for about four hours. I think I finished my makeup at like 6.59 or something like that. But y'all, yeah, I love the way this foundation looks now. I was just in the bathroom looking at myself and I'm just like, this foundation, I'm here for it when it's worn a little bit. But before, when I first put it on, I was not here for it because it just looked too dry and when it comes to like foundations looking too matte on me I just don't like how it looks on my skin because I feel like it looks a little casket sharp it might have something to do with the undertone as well um or maybe because it's a little bit darker than my skin tone I don't know but I was not feeling this foundation when I first put it on when it was fresh when I set it down with powders and all, and all that other stuff I wasn't feeling it but now that I've worn it um, and I've had it on for a couple hours. I'm really liking how it's settling in my skin. We do have some oil that's coming in right here, right here, right here, and right here. Like the normal spots that I usually get oily, but I like it. I like that the oil is starting to do its thing and make the foundation look more seamless. But I do feel like I need to find more of a golden shade. And maybe that might do the trick because i do feel like it is on the red side i don't know if it's smudge proof because i haven't been wearing a mask or anything like that um let me see let me try to test it out real quick it's not transfer proof because you know the foundation is coming off but it might be much resistant because it still looks good but it's definitely not transfer proof that just took like the oil off it does seem like it might be a little more smudge resistant yeah this is how the foundation looks after four hours of wear um, I didn't go outside or anything like that, but I was like 
over steam i was cooking i was cleaning up you know just doing household things with the foundation um and another thing that i noticed i don't think this has anything to do with the brand i think this has to do with the sephora i got it from but if you guys can see it looks like this has been used or maybe the foundation is separating if you, you guys can see that like like up here like it's been used a little bit and i noticed that when i um open the bottle will open it out of the out of the box so i don't i'm not really sure what that means um oh i like that the top twist is off it seems pretty full so maybe it's just like separating i don't know yeah maybe it was just sitting in the sephora for a while but yeah it's definitely full if y'all can see that but that's pretty much all i have to say about this foundation i like it i'm going to be wearing it this weekend so if you guys watch my vlogs y'all will see how it wears throughout the weekend i do feel like i need to get a different undertone i like how it wears i don't know if it's smudge proof or smudge resistant as of yet but it's definitely not transfer proof because i just i just showed y'all that it transferred um fade resistant i definitely think it's fade resistant because my makeup looks pretty much the same from when i put it on it just looks like it's it just looks like it sunk more into my skin and it looks more skin like if that makes sense but yeah if you're looking for a full coverage matte foundation like a beat 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 foundation if you're looking for that type of foundation that looks literally flawless definitely give this a try but if you're more so a makeup wearer that likes your foundation to look more skin like then you're probably not gonna like this foundation so yeah that's all i have to say about this foundation i really hope you guys like this review if you guys have any more questions for me leave them down below in the comment section and i will get back to you and if you have any questions about what i have on or anything like that it's going to be down below in the description box as well so yeah don't forget to like this video if you did like it leave me a comment down below um because it definitely helps my videos it helps my channel it just boosts the engagement and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll put my face right here you can just click on it and subscribe and if you haven't already seen this video please be sure to check it out and let me know what you think and i will see you guys in my next upload